Nothing about Sunday at Muirfield Village was easy to the final stroke. Scotty Scheffler, a winner once again, his fifth victory in his last eight starts. Scheffler and everybody else in this field struggling about the grounds, a course that played nearly three shots over par, but it's a par at the last for Scheffler and the winner's circle once again. CBS Sports lead golf writer Kyle Porter in with his reaction. KP, it's another Scotty week, but this one maybe takes on an identity that we have not seen before. The game plan seemed to be a bit more conservative with that four-shot lead coming into the day. What did you make of the round here for Scheffler specifically? Well, I, I thought this week, and, and specifically this weekend, Joe, it showed the the depth of his gifts. You know, he's still finished in the top five in strokes gain, tee to green. But it also showed the breadth of them. And, and what I mean by that, we talked about this a little bit on Saturday, you and I did, about he's got so many different gifts that when one thing is not working, he can cover it up with something else, right? And, and that's where... I think that is kind of the story of Scotty Scheffler. You look at the last 10 years and we've seen some really great players. We've seen Jordan Spieth, we've seen Rory, JT, all these guys. And, and, and most of those guys have one or two things that they're elite at. Scotty's got like three or four and you throw in the course management up there. You throw in the emotional and mental stability, the iron play off the tee. Uh, he's very clutch. You know, how many times have we seen him make like massive putts at the end there? Uh, that to me, the breadth of his gifts, mm -hmm. I, I think is the story from this weekend. KP, not everybody answers expectation. As we look here at that handshake, they all long for Mr. Nicholas sealing this victory for Scotty Scheffler with that shake. It just dawns upon me the comfortability that this man has being the world number one and carrying those expectations. Are you at all surprised at the maturation in that aspect here over the last two years? I don't know if I'm surprised, but it's definitely been a maturation. I, I think Scotty was, uh, and maybe still is, a little bit uncomfortable with being known as the best golfer in the world, you know, but I, I, I think he's more... Um, I, I guess the word is stable in it now. I think he he's just more used to it because he's been the best golfer in the world for uh, you know over two years now. I remember joking at the 2021 Ryder Cup at Whistling Straits. I said, hey, the best player in the world is just absolutely smoking John Rahm right now. <laughs> and John Rahm was, if people remember, very obviously the best player in the world at the time. I didn't really know what I was predicting because I didn't realize how good Scotty Scheffler was. But he, he's he's grown into it, I think. I think he's still a little bit uncomfortable in the spotlight. Uh, but, but he's definitely comfortable with... Um, you know, we talk about this a lot. There's an uncomfortability and a comfortability with leading from out in front, with withholding tournament leads and going out and winning. Scotty's gotten really comfortable with doing that, and I don't think that's an inevitable thing, and I think it's something that has to be appreciated along with the rest of his giftedness. Well, five wins, the quickest to that number since Tom Watson in 1980. Unbelievable stuff here that we're watching in real time, and KP, it is a season that we are going to remember, even if it was to stop today, but there is so much in front of us with Scotty Scheffler and what he can still accomplish this year. I, I just, I have a hard time putting into words what we are watching right now because of the fact that he makes it look almost at times mundane, but what is the ceiling for this season right now? Five wins in his last eight starts. Well, I think we're we're on the precipice of it being uh, the best season that we've seen uh, since you got to look at those Tiger seasons mm -hmm. in like 06, 07, 08. I'd have to go back and look at kind of the exact numbers there uh, for Tiger. But, you know, you, the seasons that are up there, uh, just off the top of my head, Rory in 2014, he wins two majors. Spieth and Jason Day both win uh, five times in 2015. Spieth won two majors that year. Justin Thomas in 2017. Uh, he won five times. Now, Scotty joins them with five wins. It, it, I think if he wins one more time, Joe, and especially if it's a major, then it's kind of the best season of the last, I would say, 15 years at least. Again, you'd have to kind of go back and look at some of the details on those Tiger seasons. But that's the that's the territory that we're in right now. It's right up there. I would, I would say right now it's up there with that Spieth 2015 season just because the caliber of tournaments that he won, mm -hmm. that he's won, right? You, you go players, Masters, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas's tournament at the Memorial, and you throw in the RBC Heritage. RBC, when the RBC Heritage is the worst tournament that you've won in a season, that's a pretty good season. Simply measured by wins are recent history or at least modern history would point to nine being the number it was tiger in 2000 vj in 04 
We're on pace. I, I will say that much here for Scotty Scheffler and the season that has been with the U.S. Open looming and a test at Pinehurst that will certainly favor not only his ball striking ability, but his prowess around the greens. We'll get there in just a bit, but this has been special stuff to watch. And we watch this one as you sort of outline the tournaments he has claimed under the watchful eye of the greatest champion the game's ever seen. Did that offer a different framing of it this week to see him do it in front of Jack at Jack's place? I think a little bit, you know, it's interesting because we talk a lot about Tiger and, or, or excuse me, we talk about a lot about Scotty in the context of Tiger. And we talk about all these guys in the context of Tiger, right? With Rory and Spieth and, and everybody that kind of followed that Tiger wave. Uh, we contextualize them with what Tiger did. And when Tiger's not actually physically present, when he's not there at most of the tournaments that Scotty's playing, other than the major championships, I think it's kind of cool to to have somebody that is is physically at the event and, and you can say, okay, well, Tiger's not here. Let's frame it with, uh, with what Jack Nicholas did. You know, mm -hmm. I, so I do think that there is something there um, that brings about a, a certain contextualization or gravity to uh, what Scotty is doing. And, and, and all these guys, it's, it's really hard to appreciate Rick, Rick Gaiman has talked about this a lot. It's really hard to appreciate what they're doing in the moment because what Tiger and what Jack did still surpassed it. And so you're like, well, it wasn't what those guys did. And you're like, yeah, but it's, it's still like, it's still extraordinary. It's mm -hmm. still incredible. I liken it a little bit to, to what Carlos Alcaraz is doing right now uh, in, in the world of tennis. He wins the French Open today, and you're like, yeah, well, it's three three grand slams is pretty good, um, but it's not what Djokovic has with 24 and Nadal has with 22, and you're like, well, let's give it a little time to play out, right? And I think that's what uh, I think that's what we're getting with Scotty right now is, hey, let's, let's see what this looks like in three or four years because it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Yeah, enjoy it in the moment because when we look back on it, we will look back on greatness here for Scotty Scheffler. I will offer if Tiger is the reference point, uh, Tiger Woods, 10 seasons with five or more wins. So there's, <laughs> there's, there's some ground to still go here, but Scotty Scheffler oh, sure. has quite the pace about him. Kyle Porter, we appreciate you stopping by here. The first word on HQ post round from the first word until the final word. It's the first cut podcast. Kyle Porter, Rick Gaiman taking us under the ropes and into the action each and every week on tour. Download, subscribe and enjoy the first cut podcast. It's Jack's place, but it's Scotty's tour. The world number one laying claim to his fifth trophy in his last eight starts. It's been quite some time since we saw five this soon. Scheffler, the fastest of five wins since Tom Watson in 1980. And for Can't Miss Perspective, we head into the Super Tower where CBS lead golf analyst Trevor Immelman joins us. Trevor, this one dripping in drama that we maybe did not expect on this Sunday. Scotty Scheffler coming back a bit, the course a brute throughout. I'm interested just at the outset here. What did you make of Scotty's strategy throughout Sunday? Well, look, I, th I thought he was grinding away, really. I don't believe he had his best stuff this weekend. Yesterday was a roller coaster of a round. Today was just extremely difficult out there. And he ran up against Colin Morikawa, who for the most part putted well today. And uh, starting the day with a four-shot lead and just by the thinnest of margins makes that great pass save at 18 to get it done. What a season this has been so far for the world number one. To gain that handshake from Mr. Nicholas without your best stuff, it, it further outlines how far head and shoulders above everybody else he is right now. And we've seen stretches, Trevor, since Tiger that are, are akin to this. There's been Rory, there's been DJ, Spieth, JT have all had their moments and their runs. Mm -hmm. Does this one feel different to you? And if so, why? Yeah, it really does because he's just such a complete player. And I add the mental game and the demeanor to that. So he's got all sorts of tools at his disposal. And, uh, you know, from what we've seen really in the last couple seasons, I mean, this is now his 11th win since 2022. Mm. He's starting to rattle them off regularly. And when he gets these 54-hole leads, now the last five times he's had a 54-hole lead, he goes ahead and converts that. And it's a long way to go to compare him to Tiger Woods because mm -hmm. Tiger did it for so long at such a high level, but he sure is on track. There's no doubt about that. As we said earlier in our post round coverage here, Tiger Woods, five wins in a season, 10 or more times. So uh, a, a lovely pace here by Scotty <laughs> Scheffler that we are watching, but we were talking about something completely different at that time. We're talking about something different next week as well. Our third major on the way. We're on the doorstep of history once again, and it's hard not to picture Scotty Scheffler 
again, shining on such a canvas. What excites you most when you think of the U.S. Open at Pinehurst? Well, it's going to be tough. I've spoken to a couple of players who have had some practice rounds in the last week or so, and the first thing all of them say to me is, it is so hard out there. <laughs> and, you know, it's what we expect from a U.S. Open. It's what we expect from Pinehurst. You have to be a brilliant iron player to keep it on those up uh, 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 upturned saucer greens and green complexes. It's so easy for that ball to get repelled. And so, you know, who's the best iron player in the game? It's Scotty Scheffler, and he has been for almost three years now. So he goes in there filled with confidence, the best player in the world, the best iron player in the world, and he's going to be hard to beat and hard to bet against. I think Mr. Nicholas once said it of Pinehurst, it's like trying to land a ball on the hood of a Buick. It's going to be a whole lot of fun exactly. to watch them try and do that next week. Trevor Immelman, we appreciate you as always, pal. Thanks, Joe. All right, five is something special, no matter your frame of reference, no matter what you point to. Five or more wins in a tour season. So we take a look at our most recent instances. Not since Justin Thomas in his 2016-17 campaign have we seen five. Spieth, Day, and Woods most recently on that list as well. Plenty of golf in front of us. Scotty Scheffler, five and counting.